Today we're going to talk about IC Painter, the auto painting companion app to iColorama. There is no splash screen, so we'll just look at the button up at the upper uh, left and choose an image to paint. As you see, it said tap once for painting, but before we start to paint, we want to choose a brush and some settings. If you tap the brush on the right, then you can choose a group of brushes by choosing the buttons along the left and then an individual brush. There are some settings that you'll want to look at. The first is the number of steps that it will take, the number of brush strokes that it will take as it completes the painting. And then there's a detail setting as well. So I tap the screen and it paints using those different brushes in the group. Over on the right you will see a percentage as it's painting and a little X at any time. You can tap the X to stop the painting at that point. Here we're going to increase the detail and we're going to increase the rays, which is uh, how much the brush stands out. And we'll tap again. And you'll see that this time it will continue on with smaller strokes. It doesn't start with the big strokes. It gets down littler and littler detail. You can get an entirely different look by using different brushes. Here I'm going to go to a single brush farther down here. And I'm going to press the trash can at the upper left to clear. Once you clear, then it starts with the larger strokes again. And you'll see the all the larger strokes and then the strokes get smaller as detail comes in. If I want even more detail in a certain portion, I can use the masking feature. It's the little thing that looks like cat eyes over on the right hand side. I paint in the mask and that will mask out what is being painted. In order to mask in what is being painted, I tap the invert button at the top, and then if I tap on the actual image again, then it will only paint the detail in where I have the inverted mask on the face and the ears. I can tap again and get even more detail put into that area. Now I tap the trash can to delete and there's also a mode over a mode switch that has multiple bristles, glitches, lines and curves. Just to show you what bristles look like, I tap the screen. Oh, but look at this. I've still got the mask in place. So I tap the trash can and then I go into the mask and clear the mask. And I can start over again with the bristle brush. You'll see the lines within each brush stroke. Those are the bristles, which you may like the look of that. There are other modes, including glitch, horizontal, and vertical. And so I'm going to pick glitch vertical and lower the opacity to about 40% and continue brushing in. The glitch pulls, it, pulls each stroke out of its place a little bit, so you'll get colors mixed in with others. But not only can you, oh, in order to get more detail, let's go back to multiple and let's look at the exact feature, that exact switch. I turned on the exact switch and although it's still at 40% opacity, you see it coming in lightly here, you'll see these lines within the uh, strokes, uh, sort of like a fingerprint. For that reason I don't generally use the exact switch, so I'll turn that off. Now, you can also get some very nice abstract looks by turning detail all the way off 
and I'll take a curved brush here under the dry two brushes and I've pulled detail all the way down to zero this gives me a nice abstract look you can't really tell what is being painted in here because it's just at 40 percent I'm going to go in the second time and I'm going to bump the opacity all the way up to 100%. And you can see some of these curved strokes being made within here, this image. Still can't tell what it is that I'm painting in, and so it can be a very nice abstract look. Some of these other uh, modes will... Uh, give you a nice abstract too when you leave detail down at zero. Here I'm using glitch vertical. Next I'm going to show you what lines look like. It's lines made with the particular brush you're doing right now. And I'm going to take the steps down to low so that you can just see what happens. Those are lines. You'll see each curved brush stroke within the lines multiple times. Curves does the same thing, except using curves, sine wave, cur sine wave curves instead of lines. So this can be good for use in backgrounds or that sort of thing uh, where you want an abstract look. Let's go back to multiple. And I'm going to increase the number of steps and I'm going to increase the detail just to show you that different types of brushes can give you different looks. In this case I'm going to pick a stipple brush and when we start painting in you'll see that it gives a pointillist type of look. Because there's so much space in between the dots even at a hundred percent opacity it still doesn't look like it's filled it in entirely. But you can mix types of brushes too. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick this crosshatch brush, but at the same time I want to pick up some different colors. And I do that with the palette feature. I can choose a palette and over on the left hand you'll see the uh, results of that. And I'm going to take the number of steps way, way down, just so I can get a few extra brush strokes in with that color. You might want to do an extra pass here with uh, one of the modes. In this case, I think I'll do a, a glitch horizontal. And just a few strokes really quick with that. And I've got a look that I like. Down on the right-hand side, there's also a gear that allows you to do texture and edges. So I tap on the gear. And, oops, first I'm going to save it because I like that particular version. That's up at the top right. Then I go to the gear and I'm going to look at a texture. There's four little white squares. You tap on that to get a list of thumbnails of textures that can be added. And then you also have texture scale and opacity. To add, in this case, I do some line, add some lines that texture on it. I can also tap edges too and get some edges on there. I always like paint strokes to cover the edges so I'll tap once more and get some strokes to cover those edges and I'll save it once again. That's just an overview. You'll see more detail if you come to my website Enthusiasm Noted and until next time, enjoy.